you've opened the Duolingo app and suddenly get the frustrating message that says, an error occurred, try again later, don't worry, you're not alone, and more importantly, you're about to fix it. In this quick and easy tutorial, I'll walk you through several steps that will help you get Duolingo working again, whether it's a glitch, a connection issue, or something deeper. Follow along, and by the end of this video, you should be back to learning without interruption. The first thing you should do is check your internet connection. A weak or unstable connection is often the main reason for this error. Turn on airplane mode for a few seconds, then turn it off. Now make sure you're connected to either mobile data or a strong Wi-Fi network. Once you're reconnected, try launching the Duolingo app again. Just search for Duolingo on your phone and open the app. Check if the error is gone. If not, don't worry, we'll go deeper. If the issue continues, force close the app first. Then, go to your settings, scroll down and tap Apps, search for Duolingo, tap on Storage, then tap Clear Cache. Clearing the cache removes temporary files that may be causing small glitches. Now, relaunch the app and check again. Still having the same problem? Open the Play Store or App Store and search for Duolingo. Make sure the app is updated to the latest version. Outdated apps often conflict with server communication, especially after new updates. Once updated, try reopening the app again. If the app is updated but the error still appears, the issue might not be from your end. Go to your browser and type Duolingo Server Status on Google. Click the link that says status.duolingo.com. If their servers are down or having issues, you'll see a status alert. But if it says all systems operational, then the problem is likely local to your device. If all else fails and the servers are fine, simply uninstall the Duolingo app, then reinstall it from the App Store or Play Store. This can fix corrupted data and give your app a fresh start. After reinstalling, sign in again and the issue should be completely resolved. And that's it. By following these steps, you should now be able to use Duolingo without seeing that error message again. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and let me know what topics you'd like me to cover next. Hit the like button and subscribe for more quick tutorials like this.